Hello, everyone, Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Chippewa County. And uh, still dealing with a little bit of a head cold here yet, everyone. So uh, bear with me here as we uh, do this episode. Uh, as I mentioned, I seem to have uh, picked up another cold here uh, this week. Had one last week. Uh, got one again this week. And just in time for Thanksgiving a holiday too yet. So uh, speaking of Thanksgiving, by the way, uh, if you're watching when this video goes live, it should be a Thanksgiving Thursday here in the United States. At least for those of you in the U.S. anyway that uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, wish everyone happy uh, Thanksgiving there. And yeah, hopefully you have a great day. Eating some turkey and who knows what not else, of course. As far as I know, I think the United States is the only one that celebrates Thanksgiving on that day. I know Canada has one, but there was like a month ago. And yeah, I'm not sure about some other countries there too. I know a few other countries have Thanksgiving, but I'm not entirely sure when they uh, celebrate theirs. So yeah, at least over in the U.S., Thanksgiving. Anyway, uh, I'm currently working on loading out some milk here. We got, oh, I don't know, maybe like three or so loads of milk here at this farm. And I didn't even look at what the other farm has here. So working on selling that a minute. Uh, of course, we are day one early spring here. So it is early spring, by the way. And, uh, yes, definitely looking forward to some nice uh, spring weather here in the game. We got lots of stuff that needs to be done. Uh, field work. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to get into it here, I guess. Selling part here doesn't take too long. It's the uh, loading of the truck. Pretty much drive up here. Uh, again, this truck has like a very OP unload speed on it. Uh, which actually, again, as I mentioned before, it works really, really good for the uh, slurry tankers with course, because they don't want to stand still and wait to be uh, reloaded, right? So, but yes, we're adding up the money nicely here. I'm not sure if there's like really a good season to sell milk in. Like, you know, you should sell it this time of year. It sells better. I, actually, you know what? Why don't we look? That'd be, that'd be the best thing to do, right? That'd make the most sense. Uh, milk. Uh, doesn't vary a whole... Well, actually, this one looks like it's a pretty good price. Doesn't vary a whole lot, does it? Like this, actually, uh, right in this time period, maybe the worst. But other than that, doesn't look too bad. Fun part here is making these turns through here. And, of course, if you watch the episodes while we were in the winter time there, uh, went ahead and uh, sold our wheat crop as well. Again, we do have soybeans to uh, sell once uh, summertime rolls around here. So that'll probably be a few, uh, actually, probably quite a few episodes here yet. Uh, let's see, another full load of milk yet. Wow. So there's probably a full load at the other cow pen here as well, I bet. Uh, yes, yes, pretending to save the game. Isn't that just cool? Mm, not really. Okay. Uh, milk hunter, oh yeah, not very much, not very much. It's amazing how much difference there is. I don't know, is there that many more cows here at this other pen or what, but. Uh, speaking of show, they are good on food. Okay, that's good. Out of curiosity, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. So it looks like we're going to have some more offspring here pretty quick. And I'm not sure everyone how that works with the milk production there either. Um, okay, these are not fertile. Guessing like the 89 pound ones here. These must be a fairly new calf. And you know how much longer before some of these ones that were, I'm assuming these were born last year. I'm assuming that's what the, you know, the 507 pound one here is. You know, how much longer before they are uh, having calves and producing milk here as well. Oh, anyway, uh, we'll let that uh, fill for a minute here. Uh, with the money, everyone, definitely want to purchase a tractor. Uh, not sure what that is going to be here yet. Uh, we got one field that needs to be plowed yet. Uh, apparently, when we went over the pro-till there, uh, I don't know if something went wrong or that pro-till does not actually count as a plow. Uh, someone mentioned in the comment, hey, wait a minute, didn't you use that pro-till on other fields? And uh, I think I did. I don't remember if those fields, well, yeah, those fields should have needed to be plowed as well, I would think, because I had corn... I, had, I thought I had corn on one of these fields here, I thought. You know what, we can run across the field because it'll tell us uh, what was planted on these fields. I thought one of these fields had corn. I don't know if I, yeah, I don't know if I can tell or not. Let's see once here. Before previous was legume. Previous was cereal. Before previous, huh? 
Uh, what is considered a legume? I think that's corn, right? Oh, uh, let's see. No, no, I want to actually though go to the probably the seasons menu. Is it this one? Yes, I think that is this one, right? Uh, corn. Oh, corn is considered uh, cereal. Okay. Uh, soybeans. I had soybeans in them. Huh? Okay. Uh, was it the other field? I thought I had one of these in corn. Or maybe it was the one back here. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure now. When I thought I had one of these in corn. I don't remember which one. Maybe it was this one. But uh, at any rate, pretty sure I used that ProTel on probably one of the other fields, as you noted in the comments there. And it apparently worked for that field. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, let's uh, start off with buying a tractor here. And as a few of you in the comments uh, suggested... Actually, I got a couple comments here. Uh, several of you suggested John Deere tractors. I don't think I actually got very many comments for other brands, other than uh, maybe Jeffrey and his uh, suspicious plastic tractors. Uh, but yes, 9RT, 9RX, 9R, and uh, several of you also suggested the 8970 as well. So that might actually be a good uh, tractor to look and purchase. I don't know if I've used this in my single-player series or not yet, but yes, thick duels. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting how they got that spelled. Okay, whoa, big light bar. Whoa. Too small and green star, huh? Okay. Only $10 for green star, huh? That is cheap. That is cheap. Huh. Cost uh, initial $22,000 to drop it down to an 8960, huh? I think I'll stick with an 8970. That's cheaper. Oh, Firestone with triples. Trelleborgs with triples. Mita's. Wow, some thick duels there again. Oh, the, wait, was that what they were before? No, Michelin's. Michelin's were the thick duels. Okay. Skinny triples. Wow, there's quite a few uh, tire options on this. Not too bad. Skinny duels. Hmm. Might just have to go with one of these, everyone. Might just have to go with one of these. Yep, I think we will. And then we're going to get one more tractor here as well. As I mentioned, I wouldn't mind having two tractors. So yes, everyone, 9RT. Because why not? Actually, you know what? Oh, what do we want to get? How about a 9520? I can bump it up. All, I might as well bump it all, all the way up to 9570. Why not? More horsepower, the better, right? Oh, uh, so what do we got? Uh, okay. 2,200 pounds of front weight. 36-inch tracks. Wide with weights, huh? Mm, that looks like a good, probably, tillage tractor right there, right? Yep, we'll go with that. $500,000, another $500,000. And then, once we're done selling some milk here, I wonder we can probably afford uh, maybe some fields here yet as well. So if we were looking at this plop of land here, we need another million dollars for that. Uh, I'm not opposed to... a borrowing a little money here at this point either because again with the uh, milk production we got everyone we should be able to pay off any loan fairly quickly plus we'll have soybeans to uh, sell so uh, expect to see some probably uh, big upgrades on our farm here at least that's what I'm thinking oh that's right we need uh, well I got a sprayer already didn't I let's see what's here. I'm trying to remember I got the row gator that, that was liquid I gotta go check that here again I know we needed a sprayer one but I think I got that taken care of right Plus, we still got an old uh, John Deere 6000 yet as well. Now the 325,000 buckaroos. Okay, I don't know if there's really enough to uh, bother worrying about there. Let's go grab another full load from the other 
cow pen here, and I think we're going to call that good. And we'll just let the uh, milk uh, start uh, producing here again. Okay, well that's filling. Let's go check out our new tractor. So John Deere 9570RT. These are all from Custom Modding, by the way, I do believe. Uh, including the 8970, I believe that is also from uh, Custom Modding. So 9570RT and an 8970. Ooh, looks like a good uh, plowing tractor here, right here to me. Well, I should uh, see once here. Does follow me work now? Because I got a new version of it. Unable to locate nearby trail. Ooh, maybe it does. Let's, uh, let's grab that 9570RT here a minute. See if we can get them both to uh, drive home at once. Not sure how well Follow Me will handle a two-track track here, but I guess we'll find out. Ah, nice. Okay, cool. Uh, if you remember, everyone, I used to have a version of Follow Me there, and I do believe it was off the uh, Farming Sim and Mod Hub as well, but for some reason it never worked. And, uh, oh, I don't know, well back here I did get a new version. Uh, someone suggested, I think it was actually Jim, if I remember correctly in the comments, I think he said uh, there's a new version on the uh, Mod Hub. You know, check that one out, see if it works, and I did get it, just <laughs> have not used it since. But yeah, perfect for uh, scenarios like this where eh, you got a couple pieces of equipment you want to bring home from the shop. And rather than having to do them each one by one, you can uh, just have the other one follow the other one. And of course, if you got more yet, have more follow. I'm thinking too, by the way, everyone, with the uh, hayfield troubles we had... Uh, last season, last year in this game here. Debating everyone just uh, plowing that field under and putting crops on it. I um, mean, we're only, we only got one cutting of hay off that bloody field last year. I mean, I, I don't really see uh, a reason to necessarily even keep it at this point. Okay. Let's see what's ever do that. And he does stop following. Nice. Looks like he was about ready to crash into us there, too. Uh, that was always one of Follow Me's problems there. Uh, brakes, uh, I don't know that uh, Follow Me knows what brakes are. Okay, so we're going to head down to the field that needs to plow there yet. We'll see if this uh, Pro Till will work or not. Uh, if it does, great. If it doesn't, I'm not sure why. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, again, everyone, you can see the field is clearly cultivated, which, by the way, this is considered a subsoiler, so it does leave a cultivated texture. It does not leave a plowed texture. Nope. Road sign down. Now, the county just keeps uh, sending us uh, messages about that in the mail. But then again, I ran the mailbox over, too, so I don't know. It's, it seems like we're not getting those. Ooh, we're going to fit through the gate here. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. Good thing we didn't put triples on it. Hmm. I you know it's a shame, isn't it? It would look better with triples, wouldn't it? Hmm, bit of a tight fit. Okay, let's get a course by course uh, loaded up here for this. Should have one already, I believe. And I think, was it 12 meters? I'd like to say it was 12 meters. Uh, well, 11 and a half, according to that. Okay, 11 and a half. So this is a farm three. Field 12. Uh, let's see, what's there? 10 meter plow. 
We also got a 10 meter plant course, huh? Okay. Not sure why I need to two 10 meter courses, but. And looks like the uh, start point is right over yonder here. Okay, first waypoint. If this uh, doesn't work, by the way, we're probably going to have to look at investing in another plow here. That'll probably be, uh, but, uh, okay, fine. Of course, they fold it back up. Okay, whatever. Fine, now you fold it down. Okay, and let's check the map. What's the verdict? I might have to let it get a little bit further. And verdict is, everyone, it is not counting as a plow. This is interesting. This uh, begs the question why it's not counting as a plow. Didn't I not use the pro till on one of these fields? Oh, you know what? No, I did not, everyone. That's right, because these fields had to be plowed together, so no. Uh, because subsoilers cannot be used as plows. Uh, I did not use the pro tills for those fields. Okay, so I guess a plow is going to be next on our purchase list. This begs the question, have I used this on any other fields? And if I have, did it work? And if it did work, why did it? And if it did work, then why did it not work on this field? Lots of questions. And that's also uh, slightly annoying because, again, everyone, like I said, I know we did take the plow to that field. Uh, well, the pro-till, anyway. I'm pretty sure it was the pro-till we used on that field, wasn't it? I think it was. Well, I guess we'll hang on to the uh, pro till for the moment here, because again, I, mean, I wouldn't mind uh, maybe testing a little more here in the future, see once if it does actually work. Uh, if it doesn't work, then we might as well sell it, because there's no sense. The the whole idea behind the pro till here was to be a plow, so uh, and if it doesn't count as a plow, nah, no sense keeping it. There we go. Okay, well, let's uh, head back to the shop here. Woo. Out for our little cultivator there. I could probably just about as well sell that here at this point. I don't know that. Yeah, why don't we just take that to the shop here with us? I don't think we're going to be using that anymore. Not, uh, not for the fields we got anyway. I can even get it uh, connected, that is. If we can't connect... Oh, you know what? Yeah, this don't have a three-point, does it? I don't think the 9RT does either, does it? I don't think so. No, it does not. Okay. Nope. Won't be selling it that way then. So much for the idea of just taking that to the shop and selling it. And you'll get a few extra dollars that way. Not a whole lot. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, let's see what's here. Several headers saying just trying to help. Maybe for next video, could you turn up the volume in-game a little bit? I could probably uh, do that. Actually, I think the reason maybe why the volume game, vol the in-game volume sounds so quiet is maybe because I was a little bit louder. I'm not sure why that is. It does seem like... I notice when I'm editing the videos, everyone, every now and then, like, wow... Well, the uh, the volume levels are a lot higher than uh, they were last time. I didn't make any changes, but I don't know. 
I, I declare Windows self adjusts the volume itself at times. At least it sure seems that way. Okay, plow shopping. What shall we get for a plow here? Let's uh, uh subsoil. There's anything interesting here? Got some rippers, but these are like actually like proper deep rippers. We don't really necessarily uh, need anything like that because these really aren't plows. I mean, these are rippers. At least uh, in my part of the country, anyway, that's typically what they're considered rippers, deep rippers. Okay, so plows. Ace 490, yeah, we've used that before. Uh, we got a John Deere 2730 and a 2720. That's literally about it as far as bigger plows. I thought I had a disc that counted as a plow. Yeah, I could be wrong here, one, but I'm going to say here that land all counts as a plow. I like to say it does, even though it's in the wrong category. I could be wrong on that. We should really test it sometime. But uh, uh, let's see once here. Oh, yeah, it's in the ground. Cool. So we go for a 2720. That's 9 meters. At least that's what it claims anyway. thought back in Farming Simulator 17 it was considered 10, but... Uh, this one looks like it might have improper wheels on it. They look a little shiny from here. I can't zoom in any further. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go with the 2720. That's yeah, a little cheaper. And a little wider. And hopefully this actually counts as a proper plow here. And I'm just assuming this will probably leave a plow texture. I'm not sure. Technically, one of the ideas behind the implement like this is one pass tillage, meaning you can essentially plow and cultivate. Not really doesn't really work that way in real life necessarily per se, everyone. But uh, basically, plow and leave your soil level enough to plant on all in one pass. And uh, back to the uh, comments. Ah, uh, yes, it was William here that was saying, didn't you use the uh, pro-till on another field before? Pretty sure there, William, you're right on that. Pretty sure. So, again, begs the question why it didn't work on this field. I don't know. Uh, Magnus is saying, I'm using the Global Company mod. I get paid for the horses every night, and I'm still playing with the seasons on Fenton Forest. Uh, maybe it's the map you're on. Uh, I downloaded the Ford LTL 9000. I can't get the auto load for round bales to work. Uh, it says it's on 1.3 meters. Is that the standard Giants are using? Uh, great video as always. Thank you very much for that. And yes, the so 1.3 meter uh, bales, that is the standard size Giant bales. Uh, keep in mind, though, I want to be careful. If you have the old version of that John Deere round baler, or if you, have, if you don't have my version, be careful, because the, the version that's out there, everyone, replaces the in-game round bales with uh well it, it replaces them with a bale that nothing can auto load let's put it that way
Now, if you have my version of one, I did replace the bale type in that mod with the uh, standard in-game bale. Uh, but then I also do have a 1.8 meter bale as well. So keep in mind, you do have to have an auto load that is capable of 1.8 meters uh, if you're going to go with that. Okay, so this probably course generation 8.7. Okay, so we're not going to be able to use our 10 meter course here. What else do we have? Like 10 is the uh, smallest. Let's get rid of the uh, plow courses because there's no reason to keep two 10 meter courses. And we'll go ahead and uh, make one here, I guess. Just drop it down to eight and a half, kind of an even number that way. Uh, four headlands, sure. Oh, right. Pick the field first. That always helps for some reason. Uh, Jim was saying great videos always. Uh, thank you very much for that. You do not want to use the horse helper mod with Global Company. Uh, it will conflict. The mod you want to use is the animal worker mod. And it does work with Global Company. Uh, I ended up disabling the horse helper features within Global Company because I find they simply don't work. Uh, and, uh, see what's here. also says the animal worker mod. Uh, well, train your horses four times a day and tops off their food, water, and bedding for a uh, small fee. Oh, interesting. Let's see, this was field 12, right? Oh, 87. <laughs> nope. Not quite that big. Okay, drive course. Let's see if this will plow work. Oh, yep. Yeah, I can see already it's leaving a plowed texture. And, oh, no. Yeah, it is leaving a plow texture behind. Okay. I thought for a minute there it looked like it was also leaving a cultivated texture, but nope. Just plow. I know back in 17, I think there was a couple versions that actually did leave both plowed and cultivated textures. Uh, nine miles an hour, really? That's all the faster we're going to be able to go? This is going to take a while. Might end up having to get another plow here, everyone, because, again, if we're going to purchase some more land. We're probably going to have a lot of plowing to do. At this point, this is the only field that needs to be done, so shouldn't uh, actually take too long. Are we looking on weeds here, though, by the way? Ooh, I don't actually see any weeds. Cool. Cool. Well, we might uh, we'll have to see once. Maybe we'll get into some uh, planting here next episode. We got lots of fields that need to be planted. And what can we plant here so far? We could plant wheat, barley, oats. Uh, it's a little cold. A little cold. There is no freezing temperatures in the forecast, though. So we should be safe to plant. If I'm reading this right, anyway. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's, what, what is this on Thursday here? This uh, snow? Oh, no, no, no. That, 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 uh, that's just, no, no, not right. Absolutely not. It's supposed to be springtime here. We shouldn't be getting snow. This is Midwest Geo, not the Michigan Geo. Anyway, everyone, I think on that note, we're going to wrap this uh, episode up here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.